tell you, God is black. God is black. Everybody knows God is white. Everything the white man taught you, you accepted. He taught you you were a black heathen and you believed him. He taught you to worship a blonde, blue-eyed Jesus with white skin and you believed him. He taught you that black was a curse and you believed that. Did you ever look up the word black and... What's good, YouTube family? It's your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of Military Haitian Hip Hop. Nah, <laughs> thank you for watching another episode of Osmo Hip Hop. It's raining outside, and I said, let me just do this video. I didn't even want to do this video I'm about to do, but y'all read the title. Some of y'all probably like, what? This nigga's gossip with the T channel now? This nigga's is doing uh, 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 TMZ style videos now? No. I gotta do this video about this topic and I got to and I'm about to explain why there's a lot of men who need their lives saved right now there's a lot of dudes who need their lives saved and I feel like this video that I'm about to do can save a lot of dudes lives Joe Budden and Sin Santana have um, she just left Joe Budden and I was watching Jada Black on um, podcast y'all go subscribe to Jada Black I love his um podcast he has he doesn't really get behind the camera a whole lot he rather his message be heard I, I salute that a lot since Santana left Joe Budden and I feel the lesson needs to be heard as well let me, let me to those who want to say I thought you quit smoking look I said I had a bad drinking problem I would drink myself away to damn near death so now I smoke up. I don't even drink up. Like, let me take off my hat right quick. I don't. I don't drink up the way I used to. The only drinks I drink is wine, red wine, or anything small like that. Smoking. I don't smoke. I used to smoke 15 times a day, or something like that. Now all I smoke is probably once, one or two times um, a day, if even that. And I have my license. To those who wanna always, nigga, what? I see you smoking. I thought you quit, nigga. Suck, nigga. Florida's fine cannabis herb. The reason why I say this story gotta be made for younger dudes to see what not to get themselves into. First of all, if y'all don't know who Joe Budden is, he had couple of hits back in the days he didn't really go too far with it but he's a hustler he has a mentality of getting guap getting moolah getting money so he has never stopped he's been consistently proven he's a great hustler <coughs> one of the best hustles he's been doing that people know is getting one and personal with the people with the fans with the social media platform Social media platform has helped Joe Budden occur and rise to something bigger than what we've seen in a while. Before Love and Hip Hop was even popular, he was one of the first on that shit. Joe Budden has a way with the people. And since Santana has been nothing more than a thought, she has been in a very ambiguous, profound, and very big uh, lesbian relationship with Erica Mina, you know, Bow Wow and them ex, um, Bow Wow's ex, Safari's current wife. She's been, she's been known to sleep with different celebrities.
Let's be honest, when I say celebrities on my platform, she's been with a fucking rapper. Multiple rappers. Man, if you ain't secure enough with who you are, or you don't trust some of these type of women, don't pick women like Sin Santana, then go crying later. I'm about to go in. Now I can go in. I just want to give a rundown who they are. Sin Santana, what she's been doing and what she's been known to get fame for, how on earth did you think it was going to win for you, Joe Budden? I don't know how could you possibly look at that scenario and thought to yourself, yep, that's what I want to do. If y'all don't know what's been going on, Game just did a situation where he called out Joe Budden. Remember, they were they were um became fiancés and fiance. I don't know whatever you call it. She became his fiance for like four months now. I mean, I remember I said something like that. But then Game recently, I'll say a month ago. The game made claims where he slept with Cynthia before, which the game is corny to me. I don't know if y'all know that one nigga in class. You you had you, this one chick that's probably popular of everybody in the school. You did your thing with her. And of course you don't go with her or nothing like that. But you know everybody been trying to get at her, but you felt like like you know other niggas ran through her before. But no niggas in your class, in your section, ran through her before. So, you know, it's like that honor thing. I, I've been through this chick. But it's that one nigga in class I gotta let everybody know. Oh, you see that that girl I smoke hip hop messing with? Oh, I smashed her already last year. I smashed her a week ago. Probably still got the pussy smell in his hands still and shit like that. Like, that's who the game reminds me of. Every nigga. That, that can't stand another nigga's joy this than something that he got before or this and that. Huh? And that's neither here or there, but game puts that out there. And I knew something was gonna happen because since Santana's always preaching for Joe, Joe this, every time they get in the beef. Since Santana is right there to defend this man. Remember the DJ Academics and the Nah, I don't I haven't watched Everyday Struggle in a while, y'all. I, I even I, I didn't watch this season, last season, um, but Everyday Struggle. When they got in that beef, she called out academics with the heartbeat, all that. But with the game situation, baby girl didn't say one word about anything. Like she been quiet, low key, and we all know these Instagram thoughts. When they low key, a storm is about to come. Hang on, yo. We know a storm is about to come. Joe Budden ain't even seen half of it yet. <clears throat> y'all probably thinking Joe Budden got off good. Remember, he got a baby with this girl. If y'all ain't on child support like me, let's, let me just tell y'all. If the working man like me pays the mo money that I'm paying for child support, imagine what Joe Budden about to pay. You about to pay some dumpster cum bucket, all this extra, because you didn't make the wise decision. You niggas get money and start dating out of your league. Not that Joe, but they don't get fine hoes every day. I mean, as far as what he can control and handle. Every man, I believe, can get a bad, a bad chick. I mean, like the most sexiest girl you can find. You're a man, you can do that. What I mean by when a woman is out your league is not about her beauty. I'm talking about her mindset is not the same with yours, therefore she's out of your league. When other niggas say she's out of your league, they're talking about she could get a better dude, her beauty and all that. I don't do that simping shit over here. There will be no simping on my brand over here, man. I, I'm gonna call it like it is. This woman clearly is not in the same mindset like Joe Buddy. I, this is not one of them scenarios you get one of these women who are born to be submissive only, so they don't, they're do not they not intelligent in the, a lot of aspects of life, so you have an easier time dating them. No, this is with women that are dumb, just like those submissive women, but even worse, they're not submissive, and even 10 times worse, there's nothing you can do that can ever give them real happiness, therefore, they're always gonna be jumping dick to dick. She left Joe Buddy now. It could be that 
she left him because Joe Budden got a lot of girls. A lot of girls like Joe. I, I ain't gonna hate. I'm gonna call it like it is. The man has been proven. You know, he's the center of eye for a lot of these females, even when he wasn't on top like this. So people can't tell me about that money thing is because he's a celebrity. When Joe fell off, he was pulling these bad chicks. Shout out to Thierry and all these other hoes. Some of y'all remember them early world star days when Thierry had them workout videos with Acosta. Um, I forgot them other chicks, but sh shouts out to Thierry. Yeah, like I'm telling y'all, man, this situation with Joe, y'all dudes got to learn, man. Even though I'm married, don't put no trust past the female. I love my wife to death. I'll die for my wife. If my wife asks, do I trust her? I'm going to say somewhat I trust you, depending on certain things I trust you. But when it comes to other men and all that, I don't want to say I don't trust you, but I don't trust you. Meaning that it's not your fault. It's just that you're the weaker vessel. Therefore, you could be captured at any given time. It's just parts of life. If you a man and you don't know this yet, I knew this in middle school. I'm not even say as a teenager. Maybe at 11 years old or 12 years old. In all honesty, I knew that. I knew I, I came to a point of my time based on movies, based on real life, based on family members, aunties, uncles, cousins, all that. Based on everything you see around the world, I said, damn, you need to, to give your arm and leg just to satisfy a woman. Jeez. <laughs> There's not, because a woman is the weaker vessel, meaning that she has weaker submission to things that bring her to a greater depression. And when women go through depression, they fucking every time dick and hair in the neighborhood. Y'all know this, man. You can't mix the three L's, man. Love, loneliness, and lust. When all three of them things get mixed up, and that, that chick is in a relationship with a nigga, that nigga gonna suffer. Love, loneliness, and lust. When all three mix together, it causes mass confusion where you're confused with all the three, and you're enacting all three behaviors during the wrong possible time based on the confusion of all three behaviors. No, man, I don't put nothing past a female, especially a hurt woman. A hurt woman at that? She's about to hurt Joe. I'm about to tell y'all how. It's medical weed. Well, let me say it properly. It's medical cannabis, so I'm smoking every single of it. I'm not one of these smokers who try to look cool and try to, oh, I don't smoke this portion. If you keep a whole grip of these in your ashtrays, you got damn near five blunts by the time three, four days pass by. Now, that ain't cheap, nigga. You paid for it. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I'm tired of, nigga, you smoking that little joint? Yes, every single bit of it. I smoke herb for the medicinal purpose, not to be cool. Okay, that's done. I ain't gonna lie to it again, but y'all dig what I'm saying. Damn, man, she, she, she had this planned out from the start. This nigga Joe didn't appear to be the same dude that he was when she first met him, cause everything has an expiration date. Like, man, we know when a female meet us for the first time, we give our whole Rico Suave, you know, move on her. We did all our energy to bag her, but when, when once you get the chick. We don't keep that same energy, and I feel like, in essence, God, women don't get mad at me. This is just proving the point more that men naturally was not made to be with one woman. You go ask any man that, I don't care if you're Beyonce. If I get up in Beyonce and I bust that nut, of course, you're going to be thinking I should have a baby with her, but for money purposes. We're not, leave the money out of it if Beyonce was a regular chick in the hood. You feel what I'm saying? And you finish smashing her. After you bust a nut, you wouldn't even want her no more. Hell, give me million dollars, billion dollar Beyonce, whatever she's worth. I bust a nut. I'm still gonna be like, you know, I'm not thinking about this chick right now. Like, let's just be honest, man. This, this not no relationship where since Cynthia probably feeling like when she goes to the club, when she goes over here, it's a million different dudes trying to sleep with her. 
she probably feeling like she the baddest chick in the world based on simps. Let's just be real, man. Like, we see a bad girl, we, we, we staring, but the simps, they go over the thirst levels. I mean, every nigga get thirsty at times, but these simps, like, damn, like, they were dehydrated for damn near eight years of their life and went to the Sahara Desert, and these niggas got thirst level on max, so they mess up the game already, got these hoes thinking, like, they, they you know, they, they, they hotter and fresher than sliced bread, man. Hotter and fresher than sliced bread. You can't even make this up, man. Y'all know it. These chicks today, man, you even tell a girl hi. She give you the mean mug, like, nigga, I, I got a boyfriend. Don't look at me or some shit. And I'm like, what the hell? Wasn't even looking at you like that, mama. I'm genuinely a nice dude by nature. So when I see the weaker vessel, I say, what? Well, how are you doing today, man? Miss. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what, what a relationship is, your name reference. You know what I'm saying? Like, all this extra. I don't give females the power of simping like that. You allow the weaker part of yourself to be owned and obtained by this female. You're now a servant. I don't know. Let, let me be quiet, man. I can go deeper, but niggas don't understand the game. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't understand the game no more. You got Joe Budden, who should be knowing this by now. You've been with several of these type of women. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you allowed her to fulfill her mindset. Now, Joe Budden, before I even say what I was about to say about her, let's just be honest. Joe Budden's going to be hurt for a little bit. He's going to move on to the next bad thing because this is how men work. And I think Joe, because he's been through the lowest parts and relationship-wise, you know how to bounce back. I mean, niggas, real niggas, I'm going to, all right, some niggas ain't never been cheated on. You can believe that if you want to. Niggas love saying that. But I'm going to be real. I've been cheated on before. And I remember how it made me feel, but at the same time, I remembered how I bounced back from it. It's that bounce back that's better than the negative feeling you felt from it. You do feel like shit, but I did remember, I didn't, like, I felt like shit, but I didn't remember I wanted to off myself, nothing like that. I just drank the real heavy amount that day, not even because I was on some weak shit. I just drank a lot because I felt like, without realizing it, you ever feel like, you get out of a relationship with a female and you feel like a rock been lifted off your back or some shit. Like the relationship is over with, but you ain't crying about it. You ain't really, you know, it's like you you don't, you, it didn't hit you yet, but you're realizing, damn, this is a fresh of a, a, a fresh of breath, breath air. I can't pronounce that. I butchered it, but you feel brand new. Like, you know what? I'm about to go do me right quick. Now I can go down the street without worrying about what this chick going to say. Now I can, you know what I'm saying? Go hang with the homies over here and she can't be like, oh, you about to get in trouble. Now I could go to Walmart and not come back for four hours without worrying about this chick telling me that I got all these new numbers and, and, and things like that. So versus that, so that's that Joe Budden. I'm, I'm telling you, he's gonna go to that mode, but you've been with mama for a minute now. She's a cloud chaser like you, cause Joe Budden is a cloud chaser and she's cloud chaser junior. And you got a baby with her. She's gonna hit you where it hurt. And she's the one who left you. And she's doing them videos with no ring on her finger. What that mean, bro? Like, you gotta think about it. She's about to hurt you big time. Yeah, you probably thinking we never was married. She got you, bro. With the kid, she's gonna have one of your peers, one of these rapper niggas, be the stepdad. I guarantee y'all, mark my word when I tell y'all that. The stepdaddy of Joe Budden's baby is gonna be another rapper. She's gonna hit him where it hurts, and it's probably gonna be one of these cats she don't even roll with. Cause when the game said he smashed Sin Santana, the way she liked defending Joe Budden and jumping again, she ain't said one word. We know game is a talking ass nigga. He, he, he a name dropper, he says all this and that, but at the end of the day, what did your woman do to defend your honor, Joe? The, the game could be a sucker, all that. Yeah, he could be all that. But what did your woman do to defend your honor, my nigga? You niggas better learn from niggas like Joe Budden and all these other celebrity ass niggas. Or even or right down to these celebrity niggas, all the way down to niggas down the street. Niggas next door to y'all. Because y'all see these niggas everywhere. Stop saying it's just a celebrity thing. We all know the nigga that got the joint that every nigga is running through. We all know that. This nigga treat her like the world. You be staring at like... The way he treat this thought like the world, it got your woman saying, why you can't be more like this nigga? <laughs> you laughing like, man, you looking at your woman like, man, you know damn well if I start acting like this simp nigga over here, 
the love, the love spell that makes you attractive to me will go right out the room. Please, as much as fights and arguments I get into it um, with my, and when I say fights, I'm talking about, you know, big arguments and all that. Y'all know what I, because if you don't clarify that, niggas going to be like, you fight your woman. Anyways, how much fights and arguments you get into it with your spouse, y'all know what I'm talking about. The the arguments um, that I get into with my wife, I, I be thinking like, you know, this ain't, I, I ain't no gentleman like that because I be putting my feet down like nah it gotta be this way and I feel like that could make a woman hate you and leave you but these are the things that make a woman in love with me that's what make her stay because I've been in certain relationships I remember when I was younger I done cake with this chick on the phone and made her feel like the world at the same time three or four dudes making her feel like the world and I think I turned into a savage when I got like 13 and a half maybe 14 years old Around one of those age right there, 13 and a half to 14 years old, is when your boy Bless One turned into a savage. That's when I learned, nah, man, I ain't, oh, I just, I just took $3. And if y'all don't know, man, back in the days, $3 was a whole lot of money. I'm an old head. $3 was a whole lot of money. And, you know, you got me, we, we played quarters. You'll take a quarter and you, you flipped it. And when you flip it on the wall, the other person throws his quarter on the wall, depending who all there too. It's like playing dice with quarters. And if you call heads or tails, whatever it lands on, that person wins the amount. And I, I remember we was playing about quarters and I won $3 for this little chick. And I gave her the money and shit like that. And I'm thinking I'm that man right now, you know what I'm saying? I, and, and this is all simp stuff, but you know, this is like probably 12 years old and a half to 13 years old. That's why I keep saying 13 and a half is when I think I turned savage. But I gave her the money and I'm feeling good. And, and back in the days, I don't know how y'all schools were. We kissed. We tongue kissed. Like, I don't know about y'all y'all type of um, um, uh, people out there. But when I was growing up and I was 12 years old, I was tongue kissing females. I, I, th I think I even tongue kiss in kindergarten. I put that on my kid's life. I don't know why in the hood, niggas and females is over-sexualized. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, I can admit that and tell y'all I'm over-sexualized and I agree when they say people in the hoods are over-sexualized. I was trying to show y'all a bike club. We got the bike clubs down here right now, but it's raining, I don't know why they out. But niggas and females is over-sexualized, but that's neither here nor there. And I gave her the money. I'm feeling good. And I'm making out with her. And where you want to, like, kind of do certain things to the females, you go under the baseball um, dugout because during school time, you can skip class and all that. Security ain't going to catch you. And I remember I'm thinking I'm about to bring her there. I'm feeling myself. I think I'm in third period. And, I'm, you know, when you're in a period, you like, you can't wait to go to fourth period. Oh, shit. I'm a height. I'm ready. I'm about to go to fourth period and feel the world right now. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't know why a nigga think he doing something because he's, you know, putting the two fingers. I got to watch my words because YouTube algorithm. But niggas think they doing something when they just, if you think about it, that's sipping too because uh, she getting something out of it. What you getting out of it? Just, hey, dog, smell this right quick. Like, anyways, that's, uh, I'm just reflecting, man. But. I'm getting ready, this fourth period coming up. I bring her, um, not flowers, but I forgot um, this chocolate stuff my teacher gave me. And I'm getting ready to come up there. She didn't know I left class early because I asked the teacher, can I use the restroom? Because I knew the period and the bell was about to ring anyways. Live my ass off, so I, I can't hold my piss. Left 10 minutes early than what I should. I see about two dudes, grab one grabbing her ass, um, another one like kind of rubbing his hand on her mouth that tells me she probably one of them thoughts I'm not gonna say this word thoughts. I'm gonna just call it dirty foots where I'm from in Florida We call a chick like that dirty foot meaning her footprints been everywhere. So her foot is dirty That's what we say dirty foots. So I found out damn this chick is a dirt like if you from um, Texas y'all say boppers um, Chicago say thoughts New York say joints uh, I'm trying to worry about what some other play. California, y'all tell me in the comment sections at y'all at y'all spots what y'all call like um, like thoughts and all that and y'all linguals from y'all states. But anyways, I found out she was a dirty foot man, and my heart was like, 
Wow, man. Like, you know, I'm a little poet too. Like, I got compliments. Me and my twin, we write poems. Y'all know this already. And I used to write her. I don't, I'm not even a dude that do the love poems. I do revolutionary poems. I've been doing revolutionary poems since I was like probably seven years old, but. I don't even do love poems like that, and I wrote her this, man, and I'm feeling like, man, I played myself out. I'm staring at this, and then I'm gonna tell you where I turned Savage at. I passed by her just to show her, bitch, I see what you're doing, and I ain't gonna lie, I took a gamble because you don't know, it could have turned bad. These two simp, well, I don't wanna call them simps, I was a simp, but these two dudes could have felt some type of way, you know, I was saying something to her because they about to get some, and they were, they were in eighth grade, and I think I was in seventh. And I remember I seen the way they looked at me. I ain't gonna say I piled up, but you know, I was I was prepared to fight too, but just I ain't want no smoke, I'll keep it a stack. I ain't want no smoke. And I remember I passed by and I'm thinking it's gonna go bad. Nah, they ain't even care. These niggas was clowning me because I, I couldn't hold it in. I was like, bitch! Said it loud and I, I think the little chocolate I had, I threw it on her feet. I kept it moving. And that told me everything I needed to know from that day. Like I've been, you know, it's like you been knew what what females were were out here. But you come at a, a, a certain point in your life when you reach simphood. Simphood makes you feel like you feel the most confident in the world that every girl should be with you. And that's the number one mistake men do, and that's what makes you a simp. And I feel that's what Joe Bunnett feels. I feel that he thought Sin Santana was something that he can control the way that females couldn't, cause you know, she was a lesbian as well. And the way men couldn't, he felt that he had the magic touch. Cause I'm Joe Buddy. Pump, 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 pump it up. Pump, pump it up. The only good song Joe Buddy never did besides his mixtape, I'm talking about industry song. He had that song with Marcus Houston, up in the club. Yeah, I'm dancing with the one shawty. I don't know that how to sing that song right now. Damn, I'm high as hell, but if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all tell me in the comment section, man. Um, Marcus Houston featuring Joe Budden up in the club. I was I was a youngster back then, but not not that young, just a young teenager. But that was my. Anyway, that's not the here to see. I always drift away. But Joe Budden's mood music. Y'all go get part one, two, and three. Classics will be a hip hop, um, hip hop. A museum if we ever have a real life one not that ti whack shit anyways <laughs> but i just feel joe budden is gonna play himself bad with this like because this is over and over we know about tieri yeah he left her he didn't get married with her but we all know that she was cheated on him with all sorts of nfl players y'all remember when world star was new so things like that just make you think man I, i've been running it on for damn near 30 minutes but but we talking about this because this is like a little sit down where we all just getting to speak. And if I could save one nigga at a time, I'm doing my job. And maybe y'all can go try to save a nigga too. Because that's crazy that um, over certain situations, this thing can propel and hit the fan, man. And I feel Joe probably wasn't giving her, you know, that making her feel attractive the first time he did it. Which you don't have to keep doing that. Like, I feel like when you courting a female, you should go all out. You should do x y and z to show this female you can take care of her you can you know you can make her feel good this and that but if a female want me to make her feel like you know she's she's mother earth every damn day damn <laughs> god damn like if this female want me to make her feel like i i can goddamn um become captain planet like, what the hell you want me to do, man? Get the hell out your feelings, chick. Just, I'm just calling it what it is, y'all. Damn. But, but man, when, when you invest into a female like that, and you see... Make sure y'all go get your Nipsey Hussle's clothing line. Clothing. Check out the links in the description box. And just support, man. Keep his name alive. He has great clothing. I'm trying to make sure I preach and reach out to the masses. So we can try to make Nipsey Hussle's marathon clothing line the next great Gucci high fashion in for the culture. I mean, we're giving our money away to every other culture other than ours. So let's support our own, kind of like we did FUBU back in the days. Look in the links in the description box and go to the Nipsey Hussle's online store.
store and purchase your very own the Marathon clothing line. I mean, I know he's gone and people like to say he's not forgotten, but let's really make Nipsey Hussle name live on and continue to support the fallen angel that he was, the Crenshaw legend that he is. Rest in peace, the great Nipsey Hussle. Listen, guys, my name is Bless One. What I do is present our information to the people. It's been a lot of years where I've done this thing for free. I finally got monetized, but yeah, I don't get the full maximum of what I'm supposed to get because of what I talk about. If you can support my platform and donate if you can, the link's in the description box to the Cash app. I got two PayPals you can also donate to as well. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please come back and hit that subscribe button. Make sure if you're subscribed already to me, unsubscribe, subscribe again, and hit that notification bell and you can get great content. Look to your left, look to your right, click on one of these great videos. Thank you guys, it's been cool, man. Please come back for more. And I Smoke Hip Hop Nation welcomes you guys back.